everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Stitching with Sue here. I want to apologize first off. I have a sore throat, a cold, congestion, cough, runny nose, all the above. <clears throat> it started a Sunday night and today is Tuesday. Um, what is today's date? Tuesday, December 6, 2022. So my voice isn't really up to par, but um, I wanted to do this video. And if you're brand new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you also for coming back. <coughs> I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing, but um, I wanted to do this video because this is a dime um, a designs and machine embroidery, which is a free design. And if you're looking for something to do for last minute gifts um, and you want to grab yourself some towels, grab yourself, I don't know, whatever you want to grab to to embroider on. This is only a 17 minute stitch. It fits in a five by seven hoop and it's it's was intentionally made to put like on a collar, not a collar, like a sweatshirt, a T-shirt, you know, along the top. Yeah, I'm pointing to it like as though you can see me along the, the front of a shirt hanging down to make it look like two snowflakes and an ornament. And if you, I will put the uh, link down below that you can go and get this free design. But I was going through stuff and I found this gray towel. Not really what I would really want to do on on, but I found the towel nonetheless. And I thought, let's see how it's going to go. So I'm using... Um, my brother Essence VE2300 embroidery machine. And everybody always asks that. Although I do tend to tell you that, but I don't, I think people kind of don't really listen or you fast forward. <coughs> and I'm using a 7511 needle and I have white bobbin thread on the bottom. I don't really care too much about the bobbin on the back. It's not important what's on the back. It's the back of a towel. And I have it in my five by seven hoop and I have cutaway stabilizer. I did a little spray adhesive and placed my towel down on top. And this is all done. It's in the hoop, but it's on top of the hoop. And then I have a piece of this water soluble stabilizer on top. Some people don't use this and they have fine results. I like to use it just because what happens if you don't, um, because of the thickness of a towel, the stitches will go down into the towel and I want to make sure that they stay on top of the towel and not get absorbed into it. Plus it's a towel. You're going to be washing it. Um, I tend to have these fancy towels as my quote show towels or towels that you just kind of have on display. Um, but sometimes, you know, people use them, grandkids come, they don't know the difference. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with um, King Star Gold Metallic Thread because I this is going to do the strings hanging down. So I thought that this would be um, fun. I probably should have changed my needle before I start, but well, let's just get started and we'll worry about that later. <laughs> so um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, it really stinks to have this sore throat. And there's Dory saying hello to everyone. To have this sore throat and cold on top of everything else that I'm going through. I mean, I've just been drinking a lot of hot tea and taking Tylenol and a lot of rest. And, um, you know, I probably should be resting now, but it's still early. For me, it's early. It's 9.20 p.m. It is dark out, of course. And I don't know, because I haven't really been doing anything the past two days. <coughs> I just feel like I, I need to do something. How many of you can relate to that? I haven't been really doing a whole lot. And then you kind of feel like I really should be doing something. So, um, and you always ask me what I know about the update. Please continue to keep me in your prayers um, for the medical issues I'm going through. Um, my chemo was supposed to start yesterday. It's kind of a blessing that it didn't um, because of this cold that I have now. But what happened was the medication never arrived. And, um... I have to take the uh, chemotherapy medication along with the radiation therapy and um, it was supposed to come on the 29th and then they called, it comes from a specialty pharmacy, they called and said that <coughs> it was on back order, they were behind, they didn't, I guess they didn't have it. So when the nurse called me on Friday just to go over what was going to happen on Monday, I had said to her I never got the medication. So she made some phone calls and they were going to try to see if my insurance will pay for it 
through a different um, facility to get the medication. And she called back and she said, well, you know, we're not gonna start it on Monday. Um, the doctor said, you know, let's just kind of, um, you know, wait and see. So then Monday came and I got a call from another nurse and um, she was wanting to go over the medication. I mean, there's a lot of hands in the pot when you have a whole team of physicians and nurses and everything. And I explained to her that I never got the medication. So she ended up calling me back and said, well, we're going to put it off for a week. So um, hopefully between now and the 12th, December, the medication will come. I have not heard anything yet. Um, I really don't know. And I hate not knowing things. I hate, I hate not being in the loop. You know, um, I'm the type of person that, you know, likes to know what's going on. I want to, I want to be on top of things. And well, you know, sometimes you just, life happens and you're just not, right? So um, anyhow, that's that's where I stand with that. But it's probably like a godsend. That ooh, pyre. Ooh, excuse me. It's probably a godsend that you know it didn't arrive. I mean, I don't know. I guess I feel crappy. Um, the steroids had stopped, and I'm back with the, the pain all over. Um, the leg pain, hand pain, all my joints are hurting. So I don't know if that's part of the steroids being stopped like what happened last time. And part of being sick. It could be a combo of the two. But I'm really thinking it's the steroids. Because I think they were masking all the additional pain. And the doctor did explain, you know, you can't be on them forever, which I totally understand. And I don't want to be. But um, I kind of finally feel like um, I'm not eating as much. I don't have like that grazing kind of eating, you know, where you go from one thing to another thing to another thing. And I mean, I was doing that and I, I really, um, I didn't like the weight that I was putting on. I mean, I can't afford to add any more weight to myself the way it is. So, um, I'm kind of glad that's done. And I'm actually sleeping better, whether it's again, because I have this cold. And I'm not gonna call it a flu, because I did get the flu shot. It's just basically a sore throat, a post-nasal drip, a cough, like a dry cough, and um, just aching all over. I don't have a uh, fever. You know, my temperature is normal, so I mean, that's good. So it's just let it run its course, I guess. But anyhow. Okay, so we did those in the um, gold. And now I'm going to switch to the um, silver metallic because we're going to do some snowflakes. I thought of doing them in white, but I thought, you know, let's do, let's, let's, let's go for the gusto on this one. So let me take that. And uh, do this. But I do want to thank all of you uh, for your continued uh, thoughts and prayers and a little extra to help me get through this cold that I'm now going through. And um, I did have a good time on Saturday. A friend of mine who's involved with an embroidery guild, she invited me to her house for um, for their meeting. No, it kind of wasn't a meeting. It was more um, a get together. They had a, she had a, a tea. And um, I don't really think I got sick there. I think it was probably left over from when my grandsons were here. Because after they left Thanksgiving weekend, that following week, they were sick. So I'm thinking <clears throat> it might be where I pick this up. But the tea was real nice. And Kathy, if you're watching again, thank you so much for inviting me. Um, the women that were there were so nice. And um, I'm not a, a big embroiderer as far as, you know, hand embroidery. You know, you see what you see here. This is the embroidery I do, but they were kind of excited and, and thought I was a bit of a celebrity when Kathy said, oh, she has a YouTube channel. And, and they were kind of like, oh boy, you know. But I was like, well, let me just hold on a second. My uh, thread is coming off the spool here. And I guess they were kind of thinking like, you know, oh, maybe I'll teach them different things, but you know, I really don't want to take on another craft. I do the stamping, I do the embroidery, I do some sewing, and, um, you know what, I'm going to stop this because I'm 
going to put, I'm going to cut this thread. I'm going to put this um, spool in the, um, in my freestanding holder because it seems to keep wanting to move and I don't want to have any problems with that. I'm trying to see if I can grab this. So I have a freestand, uh, freestanding thread holder and I'm going to move it to that um, because for some reason it's making some sort of thing and it's jumping forward and let me just get this through here. Okay, let me re-thread. <clears throat> but otherwise, things things are good. Um, I'm probably going to have to get um, an extension on my short-term disability, being that things are kind of a little bit more backed up. I'm going to um, I'm going to go back. Speaking of backing up, go back 20 stitches. <laughs> And uh, let's see how this goes any better. I probably should have changed my needle. Um, I really haven't done too much stitching, but. Anyhow. Um, I have been sleeping well. I think I said that already. Um, actually, a lot I've been sleeping, which is probably what I need. My body needs rest. And. Uh, I still kind of wake up all hours of the night, but I force myself to just stay in bed, you know, and um, just try to, just try to, even if you're just laying there, just try to relax. But um, continued prayers, please. And so many people want to reach out, they want to help financially in that. And while I really do appreciate that, you know, I'm okay. The only thing I ask for is the prayers, because that's all I, I really need right now, is to, to get through this. And, um, you know, just pretty much, um, I don't know what else to say about that. Just, just to get through this. And, um, you know, many of you, you know, the thing with, with what I have, and I probably haven't really talked about it, is that, um, um it's, there's no cure for this disease. Um, I'm just trying to prevent it from coming back, from the mass coming back in my brain. And um, that's what the radiation and oncology is for, is to, you know, keep an eye on it. And if it does come back, you know, the doctor said sometimes people have to have surgery again. Um, and it, mine is a grade four, which is the worst case scenario. And it is a terminal illness. So, um... I just thank God every day. And I, um, I'm able to wake up, my feet hit the floor, you know, I feel that it's a good start to the day, you know. You, you don't know what's going to happen, and I think anybody that's sick with any kind of disease, and I don't care what type of disease it is, you know, it's the unknown, and I know I've said this many, many times before. But um, anyhow, so any of you out there that are suffering from any type of illness, any type of disease, I know you can all relate to what I'm saying, but um, just continue thoughts and prayers. So anyhow, let's move off that subject already. Um, so Christmas is coming. Um, it's hard to believe. I really, I'm really, I'm going through the motions of Christmas, um, but I don't really feel the holiday spirit yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe this year it's not going to be there, but maybe I can do it as I say. <clears throat> but I have my house decorated. Um, I did all of my shopping online and just waiting for some things to arrive. Um, I have holiday cards that I made. I'm not going to be able to send out the amount that I would like to send out just because it just costs so much with postage. And um, I just don't have the extra money right now uh, for that. Um, but um, I will send out some holiday cards. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe once I write those out, maybe I'll feel a little more holiday spirit. But, I mean, I do put my tree on. I do have my decorations. <coughs> um, you know, the other day, it was funny when I went to the dentist. 
um, they, they were playing um, Christmas music. And I stopped and I thought, you know what, I, um, I was the kind of person, you know, could not wait for the radio stations to start playing Christmas music. And you know, I haven't played any Christmas music at all. Maybe that's what I need to do, you know, instead of watching, I, I'm a big person of watching YouTube. I know, yeah, right? She watches YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. She watches YouTube. Yeah, I do. Um, there's a Law and Crime, I think is what it's called, the channel. And they're actually live trials, you know, from all over the country. And um, I don't know, I just find that fascinating. I mean, you may think like, oh, that's, you know, yeah, I know. But um, it's just the whole legal process. Back when um, I graduated high school, and I was going to go to a business school, a local business school, um, the options, and this is, we're going back, so the options weren't available for women like they are now, but the option was either go medical or go legal. While I enjoyed both, I remember my mom saying at the time, well, you know what, there's always going to be medical, always. Well, you know, fast forward to today, I think there's more legal than medical. But anyhow, um, the whole legal system just, you know, how everything is done and, and all that, it just, it just fascinates me. Um, I did end up, by the way, going medical. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I don't think that that was a bad choice. Either one, I think, was fine. Um, the one the good thing about medical is when you go to, well, I know myself, when I go to work, I wear scrubs. If I were legal, I would have to have a whole um, assortment of clothing you know, professional clothing, whereas, you know, you go to work in scrubs and sneaks and, you know, and everyone's happy and comfortable. I can't imagine wearing, like, suits and all that kind of stuff, you know, in the legal world. It's just not my thing. <coughs> Although, who knows? Maybe it would have been. I don't know. But you don't know. But, um, yeah, it's funny how times have changed, you know, how, how things have really, really, um, been different, even as far as, you know, uh, women in, in the workplace and all the opportunities that are out there. Okay, so those are those two snowflakes. So now we're going to do a little applique. I'm going to do a little ornament. So you can see the part of the ornament top here is going to be an ornament. Oops, sorry, that goes around there. So let me, um, if I can see the thread. The silver metallic thread is very difficult to, to see. I was um, working on, I have to pull it out the other way because I don't know what happened to it. Pardon me. Um, I think I'm going to go with red. I think red would really stand out on this. I have to pick a fabric because there's an applique. Um, I was talking to my grandson when they were here over the Thanksgiving holiday. And, um, you know, just kind of, I mean, he's only 11. He has no clue what he wants to, to be when he grows up. But, you know, we were just talking about all of the possibilities that are out there now, you know, for, for you know, jobs and, and, oh, that's not threaded, is it? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let me go back here. Did I forget to thread it? I don't remember. Let's try that. No, I thought I did. feeling like my ears are like a little bit clogged. Let me go back and start again. charm pack that I have. I have this Deer Festival charm pack from Creative Notions. <clears throat> Let's see what's in here. There's some deer. The deer would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. Here's a little charm pack. So here's what I want to do. I want to do a fold. 
because I want that deer to kind of be like in the center. So I'm going to do a little pinch, a little pinch on the fabric. Get in there. So let's see. Ooh, about there, maybe. Let me get up and see if it's straight. Looks a little crooked. All right. Well, let's see how it goes. I guess I can always take the stitches out if it's not right. I'm just going to stitch around. Oh, what's it doing? stitch around. I don't know why it's doing. I mean, I didn't read the directions. I'm going to do the circle and then I'll cut it out. I don't know why it's doing it that way. Maybe that's... Good. I'm going to take it out of the hoop and I'm going to trim around. I'm not really sure why it did what it did, but let me take this out. Pull it back a little bit. Oh, there goes my scissors on the floor. Oh, dear. Of course, when they fall, they tend to <clears throat> fall far away. All right, let me trim this out. I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to do, but usually when I do applique, that's what you do, right? <clears throat> but we're almost done with this. And I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of glad we are because I don't know if my voice is going to hold out too much longer. All right, let's see. <coughs> okay. a little bit. I can really have you close here. Yeah, I haven't even been, um, I don't have, um, a fancy cable or anything. I actually hardly ever turn on my TV. I only really have basic cable, which is pretty much nothing. And, um, I know a lot of people I'd be hearing into watching Hallmark movies and everything. <clears throat> I don't have any of those channels. I stopped my Netflix because I thought, yeah, I don't really need that either. <laughs> All right, now let's continue. So, um, let me fix you there. There we go. Oops. So, uh, yeah, maybe if I had Hallmark movies or something, I'm sure if I go on YouTube, I could find uh, movies to watch on there for free. I do have um, Prime, Amazon Prime, and I know there's movies on there throw a holiday movie in or something. Um, let's see how that goes. Okay, so that does that. Now it's going to do another stitch around. I kind of like that deer in the middle and that has the gold kind of a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it. But anywho. Now there is a swirl design that goes around it. I'm thinking maybe I'm not going to do that because that would take away from the deer. But they show a swirl on the ornament. And I'm thinking I might not want to do that. I think I'm just going to leave it with the satin stitch on the edge and just leave the ornament as is. And you know, when you do embroidery, that's the one thing you can do, right? You can make it how you want it to be. I think that's what I'm going to do. But this would make a great gift if it did... You know, you gave a set of towels for the holidays, then, you know, whoever you give it to, oops, they can um, bring it out from year to year, and they'll think of you when they do. They'll say, oh, you know, make a little handmade card to go with it, with maybe a deer on it, or snowflakes or ornaments, or any of the above. And it would make a really, really nice gift. Or it would be great if you gave this as a gift, and maybe a gift card to um, 
Bed Bath & Beyond or Bath & Body Works, you know, that they can go and get, you know, some product that they like. You know, it's hard sometimes to purchase those things for people because you don't really know um, you know, what their taste is or if they're allergic to things or whatnot. Or if you just did a set of towels, that would be a beautiful gift for someone. And I'm sure they'd be very appreciative. Now this probably would be good if I had um, clear thread to do the stitching, but I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to do the little swirl that goes in the middle. Depending on what you're making, what fabric you chose, you can do the swirl if you like. <coughs> but I am going to tag this for um, hashtag on the house, the dime so long. So if you're, um, if you watch um, the dime show, it's on Thursdays on Facebook. Um, maybe you'll see this design on there. Okay, so now it's calling for the teal green, but like I said, and what it, it's calling for, it's like a little swirl that goes around. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to ruin the look of my design because I think that that would just take away. And I really think it looks great. Let me trim a couple of these little um, threads. On there. And um, let me move my table over and then I'll turn you downwards. <clears throat> so you can see. All right. Don't mind my messy room. Okay, it is truly messy. If you're a crafter, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is wash away stabilizer. I'm just going to tear that away. So now if you did this on a shirt, your collar would be here and you would have your little ornaments and whatnot hanging down. I think that would be super, super cute. Now I did have a viewer uh, message me and she said what she does for this wash away stabilizer is she gets a damp towel and she puts it over the top. I see a thread here. And um, that's how she gets, you know, um, all these little pieces out. Um, you can sit here and pick them out. You can go with a water brush or a Q-tip or anything like that. But I thought that that was a great idea. And you know what? I think I'm going to try that. But um, let's go ahead and take this out of the hoop. Isn't that pretty? Y'all can see that. So let me take this out of my hoop. I'm really happy with it. And you know, what was it? 17 minutes. So that's, that's a quick stitch. Okay, so let's see. So here it is. And again, you know, these little pieces will have to come out. But I'm going to try um, her suggestion with a, a damp towel to get all the extra water-soluble stabilizer off. So now let's turn it over. So you'll see um, this is all the excess. And what you want to do with this is you want to trim this without cutting your towel. It's most important. And you want to leave some on here. You don't want to um, have to worry about going in all the little nooks and crannies because this also is going to help when you go to wash your towel because, you know, a towel is going to be washed over and over again many, many times. And um, eventually this wash away, um, I mean, um, cut away, will probably, you know, disintegrate a little bit. I don't really know what's going to happen, but even if it stays, I mean, you want it to stay. I'm not going to cut any more. Maybe this little tiny piece here. I'm going to leave the rest. You know, you don't have to worry about going inside all of these areas and whatnot. It's perfectly fine. And, you know, it doesn't really matter what your back looks like. What matters is your front. So if I were to hang this... You know, if you were to hang this towel, let's do it this way. So let's fold it. This is usually what I do for my towels. I have a, uh, a rack in the, a towel rack in the bathroom where, you know, it has the, quote, show towels. <laughs> Although nobody here will mess up my show towels. It's just if I have guests that come, that they don't know. <laughs> okay, so... So even if you wanted to give this, let me see, this is really not folding here. I need to do this on a table that's a little bit bigger than this little tiny, little tiny table that I'm trying to hold this towel on. And this is a hand towel. So if you were to give this as a gift, maybe um, fold this under, fold that under. 
tie a big bow on there. And I think that would be absolutely beautiful. Um, beautiful gift. And can you see the metallic? Again, don't look at the wash away stabilizer because that's still in there. But look at the beautiful stitch out on a towel. And what a great gift that would be. So anyhow, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you being here. And um, I hope you go and download this design for yourself and do some stitch outs. It would be really cool to put on a shirt and towels and pretty much anything that you'd want to decorate for the upcoming holiday season. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, wherever it is, whatever time it is that you're watching. And um, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm surprised when I look at my um, stats, how many of you watch but yet are not subscribers. It's absolutely free. It helps my channel out. <clears throat> the whole algorithm of YouTube works on people viewing, watching, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and all those things I would appreciate if you can if you could do for me just to uh, promote my channel more. And don't forget, come on over to Facebook at Stitchin' with Sue. We've had so many new members over there and everyone is loving it. They're posting what they're making. They're sharing. Um, I, if I get any free designs or things that I think would be interesting for you, I definitely post those. And we would love to welcome you to come and join our little group where you can chat, meet new friends, post your projects. If you found um, something fun and great that, you know, that you've been stitching out, you want to share, take a photo of it and share it on the group along with the link as to where people can purchase it because sharing is caring, right? So thanks everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.